Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we are going to do a battle of the foundations. So I wanted to try and see if the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation was in fact a dupe and maybe even better than the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. So in this I use the color Soft Ivory and then I actually go in and use the colors Porcelain and Linen because that's just how it come out. So anyways, if you want to see if a $6 foundation can be the same or better than a $46 foundation, then let's get started. So since we're going to compare the two foundations, Hourglass Foundation Stick and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Foundation Stick, I thought that we should maybe do some of the facts, kind of go through pricing and all that fun stuff. So um, for the Wet n Wild, it is um, a stale day, long lasting, semi matte, uh, semi matte finish, and it has oils in it like argan oil and sunflower seed oil. Um, and I think the biggest thing, and the reason probably why you clicked, is that it is six dollars, and I want to say yeah, forty nine cents. Um, so yeah, this guy is obviously drugstore, um, but I do really, really love their photo focus. Um, liquid foundation so I'll be curious to see how this holds up against the my favorite higher end stick foundation which is the hourglass and some fun facts about this guy is that and I'm reading these all from my phone um, so it is for all skin types which I believe um, the wet n wild is also that way um, it is a full coverage which actually I'm curious I'm assuming the coverage on the wet n wild stick is also like a medium to full coverage but the hourglass is definitely full coverage because she is um, and it's a natural finish which is kind of the same thing as a semi matte it's kind of they're both in my opinion probably around about the same but we'll see how mattifying they are in comparison to each other um, so it's free of mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, um, waterproof and long lasting, so they both have that in common, um, and as well as their um, finish. Uh, the coffee's starting to kick in. So anyway, essentially they are very close in description, which is why I wanted to try them out, um, especially because the price points are very, very different. So $46 versus Six forty-nine. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is is just do half my face of each of them, blend them out with the same tool, and we'll see. And then we'll also see how they react to powders and uh, cream products, cream colored products, and all that fun jazz. So let's get to it. Let's do it. So I actually used two different colors with the Hourglass foundations. That's simply because one was given to me and the other one I bought way too light. Um, and the one that was given to me was way too yellow. So porcelain is way too light. So what I'm gonna do is try to make sure and do the same amount on each side so we can see coverage differences and whatnot. All right, so let's do it. So I'm doing that amount with that stick. And then I'm gonna take the color linen. It's just a touch too yellow in my opinion, same. I'm gonna do two of those and two of those. Let's do one, two, three. We'll start off with that amount on that side of my face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my favorite sponge, which is the Morphe sponge. So that is one layer of the hourglass side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side with the wet and wild. And just kinda I like to warm it up on the top a little bit. And this color isn't terrible. Cool. So that's relatively the same amount. Again, you can see that color is just a little bit better than, which I'm surprised because I believe this is, well, it said 21 shades and yeah, so I guess this isn't technically the lightest shade, 
but it is the lightest shade I could find, so I don't know. So let's go ahead and blend her out. I do have a couple places on my face that are healing um, and you know my skin is just always a problem child so it's not like you know that's anything um, new or anything that it's accentuating for no reason but I'm gonna go through and on each side kind of spot conceal because truthfully they both kind of look the same to me so with the one layer I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more if the camera will allow all right guys so this is an extra super duper close-up so hourglass side wet and wild side i feel like the hourglass side is a little bit more full coverage um but i think that both of them have the same amount of dewiness or skin like sheen um but they're both pretty comfortable i will say that in my opinion the wet and wild is a little bit thinner of a consistency um, which isn't necessarily a good or bad thing I think that because the vanish stick is a little bit thicker it's gonna be smoother overall but yeah so what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of coverage to the areas that need a little tiny bit of spot concealing and then we'll go through and see how the they do with everything else added on to them. To add some coverage, I'm gonna take my sponge and just do like this to pick up a little bit because I don't necessarily want to disturb everything that I've done. And just to kind of see how it builds up. I tend to have just a little bit of redness in my cheeks, so just to kind of see how that is addressed with each product. Also with stick foundations, you really don't want to have to do too many layers. So using a sponge is my favorite um, type of tool because cream products for every day now if we're doing like full glam and you're you know that you're putting a face on fine but for every day I would not put a ton a ton a ton of product on um, because you will feel it you very much will um, so I'm going to take just a swatch of the hourglass linen color I'm gonna put one swatch of each color on my hand and mix them And then hit some of those areas. Yeah, see, the hourglass is definitely fuller coverage. Just by taking the little bit that I had on my finger, it covered up more, in my opinion, uh, than the Wet n Wild. But that still isn't to say that you're not gonna not go in with concealer and all of that fun stuff. So I'm interested to see how it looks once we get all that going. So I think they both look really good. So one more time, just to kind of show you before we go into concealer. I do like both of them. Um, again, I do think the photo focus is just a little bit lighter coverage, but for me, it's not a bad thing. I do not necessarily love putting on a ton of foundation. And I do think that a lot of people, when I see this in action on YouTube, tend to put way too much on, but that's it. Hey, each their own. Okay, so let's add a concealer. Um, so I think I'm actually going to go in with, what am I feeling today? I think I'm going to go in with the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect Concealer, just because it is a little bit more hydrating than the ones that I have in front of me right now. I 
do think that, and I don't know if you can see this, let me get back, but through my nose here, and I really don't know if I can get any closer to you um, without going completely out of focus, but my nose area here could be drier, or it could be that the foundation is just a little bit more drying than the hourglass, which is why this, uh, the Wet n Wild says that it is semi-matte versus the hourglass saying natural. Um, I think that might be the key ingredient to it being just a little bit more drier or have a little bit of a dry down, perhaps. But other than that, it's not making the rest of my skin look dry. So that's good. So let's see how they do with powders. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder is what I'm gonna use today. And I'm gonna use this Bellamy tapered, pointed taper brush. It's the um, 944. I love this powder because if you do have a little bit of texture, it will conceal it to a certain degree, so. Just a little note there. Now, I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun powder and I'm curious because I haven't used the Cody Airspun on my um, hourglass stick foundation before and I'm curious to see how it looks with it. Probably nothing different but since I have this powder from my last video, might as well try it. Let's go in with blush and bronzer and see. Taking my new fave, the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. And I'm going to take the Sephora 49 brush, begin buffing her in. They look pretty good to me. Okay. Time for blush. And I think I'm actually going to take the Smith & Colt. Let's see, what do they call it? The Fl Flash Flush Powder Luminous Blush in Universal Peach. And that's what she looks like here. She's got a little bit of a gold iridescence to her, which I'm excited about. I haven't played with her in a hot second. And then on the cheeks, still looking good on the hourglass side, which I figured would happen because I have used her before. I have absolutely fallen in love with, well, I guess the whole industry has, but I've really enjoyed blush lately. Hoping to get my hands on those uh, new cream products from Fenty. Do we want to see a video? Leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see my thoughts on it. That's a really pretty blush. Highly recommend this guy. I forgot how much I liked her. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that Cody Airspun. I'm going to bake a little bit under the bronzer, just so we have a little bit more definition under there. Now I just realized I forgot to do a little bronzing on my nose. So I'm going to take the Morphe M501, one of my favorites, because this shape is wonderful. And I'm going to go back into that bronzer and just give a little something something. I'm not, too, I haven't been too big on heavily contouring lately. But it's nice just to give a little, little color to our nosy here. So let's do highlight really quick. Um, what highlight am I feeling today? Who am I kidding? 
I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill The Flash Palette. So my favorite color, if you couldn't tell, is this guy right here, and the name of it is Iced. All right guys, I'm gonna hop off camera, throw on um, the rest of my face, and we'll get back with our final thoughts on these two foundations, and if the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation is a dupe for the Hourglass Stick Foundation. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I finished this look off by putting on a winged liner using the House Laboratories liner, love that, and then popped on the Serendipity Velour Lashes. Um, one of my faves, of course. So, um, and of course put on a corally lip and I'll put that in the description box below. But for my final thought, drum roll please. I think that the Photo Finish Wet n Wild Stick Foundation is in fact a dupe for the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. <laughs> my final, final thoughts is that this one is ever so slightly a little more matte. And I do believe that it is actually a little less heavy than the Hourglass Stick Foundation. So with heaviness, this is a little bit more fuller coverage by like a micro amount. I highly recommend if you're looking for a new stick foundation but do not want to spend the luxury prices on these guys, check out the Wet n Wild Foundation. Again, $46 versus $6. So if this video was helpful and maybe even saved you a couple bucks, then hit that subscribe button. Please like this video and maybe even comment. Let me know if you want to see some more videos like this where I take two similar products at different price points and battle it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.